so and from my perspective, one of the most exciting things that has happened in the last decade is that we're talking about survivorship and lung cancer. Remember that 25 years ago, chemotherapy was not yet standard, even in advanced or metastatic disease. It was purely experimental. Now, patients are living longer. We have second, third, fourth generation chemotherapy. We have targeted chemotherapy, so patients live on average, even with metastatic disease, more than a year. And because they live longer, they, but they still have the disease, they get complications that we have to manage because these complications dramatically influence not just their quality of life, but they can influence their survival. One of the things that we looked at was pleural effusions, the, the fluid in, that accumulates in people's lungs, particularly in lung cancer, uh, something that seems to come and go and accumulate over time, but it can really impact lung cancer patients' lives because it leads to pain when taking a deep breath and more importantly, shortness of breath. And what we did when we looked at the literature is we sh saw that there was no real resolution as to whether or not you should get the patient in and drain the fluid and sclerose the lining of the lung to see whether you prevent that pleural effusion from coming back or you wait for the patient to get symptomatic and keep draining it. And most of the data from more than 4,500 patients that were surveyed that had these pleural effusions suggests that if you deal with this early on and you take care of the pleural effusion in a way that it can't come back, patients live longer, they have less complications, their quality of life is better and therefore their survivorship is better.